your tire pressure monitoring sensors in your front and rear wheel of your motorcycle are actually programmed to your specific bike. Today, we're going to talk about how you program those TPMS sensors. Hey everybody, welcome back to Cruise Man's Garage. Now today we're going to talk about how you register your new TPMS sensors to your Honda Goldwing. Now today I'm only talking about the 2018 plus Honda Goldwing. You can do this for earlier model Goldwings. We're just not covering that in this video today. Now before we get started, let's ask why would you even need to do this? Well, let's say you've had to replace the tire pressure monitoring systems or sensors in your front and rear wheels or front or rear wheels. Well, those sensors will need to be registered with your computer of your motorcycle so that it knows, you know, which sensors to receive signals from. And we're going to show you the process for doing that today yourself. Now, you could have the dealer do it, but I've been getting reports from some people that say they're paying $100 to $125 per wheel for a dealer to program these. So you can do it yourself. It does require a couple of tools. Let's talk about that first. The first thing you're going to need, or it's helpful to have, is this short connector from Honda. Now I'll put the part number on the screen, so if you do want to order this, you can. You can get these through, I'm sure you can get them at Wing Stuff or Cycle Max, uh, or from your Honda dealer. And this is the same uh, shorting connector that you would use if you're going to reprogram a new smart key for your motorcycle. And we'll show you how to use this a little later on, but this is one tool that you would need. You could do it manually, you could short it out with a jumper wire, but I think it's better to go ahead and have the tool. The second thing you're going to need is a TPMS programming tool, like the one here in front of me. Now, I have the ATEC VT37. Uh, they make other models that will also work with your Honda Goldwing. Uh, this is just the one that I've purchased. And I got this on Amazon. I will put a link in the description of this video. Should you choose to purchase one of these, you can through Amazon or you can get them at any auto parts store. I'm sure they can order these. Now, they're not inexpensive. These tools are a little over $200, maybe $220. But... The first time you have to reprogram two TPMS sensors, these should pay for itself. This tool should pay for itself. The first thing I'm going to do is just turn this on and show you how you get to the screen that you need to get to before we go out to the motorcycle and actually do the programming. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is turn the unit on. Just press the power button. And once you see the screen come up and power up, there's several different options on this particular model, and your uh, tool, your TPMS uh, programming tool may be a little bit different than this. But basically, what we're going to use is the check sensor function. And we have some different arrow navigation keys. We can switch through these different options. But I'm just going to go to the very first option, which is check sensor, and I'm going to click OK. Once you click OK, you're going to get a whole list of vehicles here. I already had selected, pre-selected the Honda motorcycle, but wherever the uh, menu is, you want to scroll till you get to Honda motorcycle, click OK, and uh, in, on this tool, the only option is the GL1800. And when you click on that, it gives you the option between a 2009 to 2017 or a 2018 to 2021. This particular tool came pre-loaded with the program for the 2018 to 2021. If you have a later model, like a 2022, I assume it would probably still work. But just to be sure, you can download the latest software for this from their website, there is a USB port here on the side, and you connect that to your computer. Now, this particular brand, ATEC, only works with a PC. I can't get it to update from a Macintosh. There is an update tool you download from their website, 
and it only runs on a PC. So I was unable to update mine, but mine came preloaded with 2018 to 2021. So as long as you're in that range, you're good to go. Next, next once we have the year selected, we're going to click OK. And you can see you get a little representation on the left-hand side of the motorcycle. And what it's asking you to do here is select which tire you're going to be registering. And you'll notice that the front tire is kind of a greenish yellow color. If I hit the arrow key, it goes to the rear tire. And so you can just switch back and forth. Now, once we get out to the motorcycle, we'll start with the front tire, program it, register it first, and then we'll go to the rear tire and register it. And once we get this little sensor, there's a little sensor here on the end. We're going to aim that at the, at the tire. And once we have it in position, you simply hit this little green button here uh, to begin the process of the registration and the programming, and it does the rest, communicating however it communicates with your motorcycle's computer. Of course, you can have your dealer do this for you, uh, but they are going to charge you a fee. And it really is very fast. It doesn't take long at all. So um, if you're interested in one of these tools, check my uh, the description below. Okay, let's get to the garage. Place your Goldwing on the center stand. Open the left saddlebag door. Remove the left side cover. Locate the registration 4-pin connector in between the battery and the left saddlebag. We need to release the retaining clip that holds the connector in place. You do this by pressing the little fingers together on both sides of that clip. I'm using a pair of hemostats to do that. And now we just need to remove the cover that covers the 4-pin connector. Locate this small plastic tab and lift up on it. And as you lift up on that tab, you can pull that cap off. Now eventually, we're going to attach this shorting connector to this 4-pin connector as shown here. I'm not going to do it right now. I just want to show you how it goes together. For now, let's just set the shorting connector down on the footrest. Next, we need to rotate both the front and the rear wheel so that your valve stems are easily accessible. Your tire pressure sensors rest underneath those valve stems. Here I'm going to rotate the rear tire as well so that I can get to it with the sensor tool. The next step is very important. Make sure that both saddlebags and trunk are fully closed and latched. Here are the steps necessary to register your TPMS sensors. Step 1 is to turn on the ignition switch, after which you'll have 15 seconds to complete Step 2, which is to install the shorting connector on the left side of the bike. You then have one minute to register the front wheel sensor, after which you'll have another minute to register the rear wheel sensor. Turn the ignition switch to the on position. You now have 15 seconds to install the shorting connector on the left side of the bike. After you install the shorting connector, you'll notice the TPMS light on your dash. You now have one minute to register the front wheel sensor. Always begin with the front wheel. Now we have one minute to register the front tire. You'll notice I have the front tire selected here on my unit. I'm going to hold this sensor directly across in the center of the tire. Press this green button. When you hear the beep, it's done. After the front wheel sensor has been registered, you'll notice the TPMS light on the dash begins to flash slowly. You now have one minute to register the rear sensor. I have it set to the rear tire. Now we'll put it in the center. After you registered the rear tire sensor, you'll notice the TPMS light begins flashing rapidly and eventually will stop flashing altogether. You can now turn off the ignition. 
you have now successfully registered both tire pressure monitors to your Goldwing. You can replace the protective cap and reinstall it in the little slot on the frame. I have a whole series of videos to show you how to save more than $1,000 a year in dealer labor charges by doing your own maintenance. So check them out today at cruisemansgarage.com. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the like button. It really does help us out.